All right, guys, welcome to the vlog. Episode number two of my four week transformation for Team Buendia. I'm gonna head to the gym right now and kill a back workout. So you guys are gonna get to see that in a minute. I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, if you guys really like the video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you can see all the other episodes of this four week transformation, which I'm gonna be vlogging every single day. So as always, guys, stay real, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, so in the first exercise, we're starting with this neutral grip wide lap pull down. So the most essential thing right here is when you reach the top, make sure you're extending out your lats, make sure you're getting the best stretch possible. And when you're reaching the bottom, make sure that the bar is touching or almost touching your chest, just so you can get the maximum squeeze at the bottom. So right here, guys, one of the most important things you can do is really, really focus on your mind muscle connection because no matter what exercise you're doing, whether you're doing back or chest or arms, whatever you're doing, mind-muscle connection is always gonna be one of the top most important things that you have to be focusing on. And also, since this is the first exercise, what I did here were two warm-up sets. So basically I did 12 reps on both of them on a weight that I could feel it well, but it wasn't killing me. And then I did my four working sets which I started upping up the weight but I always kept it between 8 and 12 reps I always kept a good form and a good range of motion and I made sure that my mind muscle connection was good throughout the whole exercise So for the second exercise, we did single arm hammer strength rows. So right here, we're doing 12 reps on right arm and 12 reps on the left arm. So I started with one plate, then I went up to two plates, then I went up again to three plates, and then I went down to one plate to finish off for the 12 reps. So right here, guys, again, mind-muscle connection, really important. Make sure you're extending out your lats when you reach out and contracting when you reach the back. My back here was aching, I was feeling really good, and this is a really good exercise to build your back. to bent over barbell rows so as you guys can see here my grip is over the bar my thumb is actually over the bar too so this is gonna allow me to isolate my back as much as possible not using my forearms and my elbows to bring the weight up but actually my back and my lats so right here I'm achieving a lot of contraction I started with 25 on each side then I went to a plate then I went to a plate and a 25 so I actually only did 3 sets between 8 and 12 reps each. Second to last exercise that we did were rack pulls. So I started with 1 place, then I went to 2 place, and then I went to 3 place. So I always kept it between the 8 and 12 rep range, always getting that good contraction. And one of the reasons why I really like this exercise is because it's going to bring a lot of thickness to your back. And it's actually not going to put a lot of pressure on your lower back and your vertebrae and any other joints. So one important thing to remember guys is don't bend your knees as much. Make sure you're going down with your back. Make sure you're pulling up with your back. Like I said here, the grip is over the bar. So what that's going to do is take away your forearms and your shoulders as much as possible. And it's going to really allow you to build that back and focus on that back as much as you can. So we finished up back day with pull-ups onto a failure. 
so right here guys an important thing to know is that you're going all the way up and you're going all the way down but make sure that you're not locking yourself at the bottom nor at the top so you always keep that pressure on your back another thing to remember is that when you're going down try to do it slowly keep it at between two or three or four seconds on the way down so right here if you notice i'm keeping my grip closed then i went a little bit out and then i went a little bit out again so i kept it about an inch out every single set and right here all you have to do is make sure you're keeping a good form and the workout is going to work itself this is always a killer if you implement it as a warm up or at the end of your workout it's always going to burn all right so post workout meal time right here i have the usual shake and then i have two fiber english muffins two cinnamon raisin english muffins and then about four ounces of honey smoked turkey breast now just to give you guys a quick run through of the day my breakfast i had just the usual shake plus two whole eggs and two slices of ezekiel bread second meal of the day i had 200 grams of white rice seven ounces of flank steak and six asparagus spears so it's kind of like the usual second meal that i had like on my last video third meal that i had and it was my pre-workout i had a pre-workout shake so just like the usual shake that i have and now my post-workout meal again i'm having another usual shake plus the two um high fiber english muffins two cinnamon raisin english muffins and four ounces of honey smoked uh, turkey breast so i hope you guys really enjoyed that video i hope you guys learned a lot from it and i see you guys on the next video please remember to subscribe to my channel please give the video a thumbs up and as always guys stay real